The faithful are divided on gun control. As dozens of prominent leaders of the faithful argue for more gun control, others of equal stature remain silent or are against further action completely. Progressive-leaning clergy have supported tighter gun controls for a long time. Recently, a few dozen nationally recognised progressive clergy issued a statement on the issue. The group of top Catholic, Muslim and Jewish leaders are calling for reasonable steps, including universal background checks prior to gun purchases, as well as the collection and publication of relevant data on gun violence. The statement also calls upon our communities and our elected officials to make every effort to save human lives, especially the lives of children, from senseless gun violence that does not represent the responsible citizenship intended by the Second Amendment. The statement is designed to apply pressure and to support the current American administration's actions on gun control. It specifically targets Vice President Joe Biden's report on new measures that can reduce gun violence in America. On the other side of the issue are white evangelicals who are opposed to any further regulation. Most notably is Q Conference leader Gabe Lyons, who touts more gun control as being another lost liberty. A recent poll taken by the Washington Post indicates that 68% of white evangelicals oppose stricter gun laws. Other data suggests that the general population is equally divided between those who worship and those who do not on the question of gun control. It is interesting to note that African American Protestants in general are in favour of stricter gun control laws. The European Court of Human Rights, known as the ECHR in Britain, has ruled in favour of a Christian over discrimination. The case began in 2006 when Nadia Iwida had claimed that British Airways had violated her right to visibly wear a gold cross. The court ruled that Iwida's rights were violated under Article 9 of the European Convention on Human Rights. British Airways had changed its uniform policy in 2007 to allow Iwida and others to wear symbols of faith. The courts ruled that British Airways was to pay Iwida €30,000 for damages and court costs. On the other hand, the ECHR sided with employers in three other cases involving Christian behaviour. 57-year-old Shirley Chaplin was barred from wearing an execution device around her neck while working as a nurse in the hospital. The hospital said that wearing necklaces breach health and safety rules after a risk assessment indicated that they could be pulled by a patient. The court ruled that the policy was necessary to protect the health and safety of both nurses and patients. The firing of 51-year-old marriage counsellor Gary McFarlane was allowed as he had objected to offer sex therapy to gay couples. The court sided with the employer in this case, saying that clients of the service could not be allocated in accordance with their sexual orientation. The third case involved registr the third case involved registrar Lillian Liddell, who refused to conduct same-sex civil partnership ceremonies. Here, the ECHR ruled that there was an obligation to the rights of same-sex couples. National Secular Society member Keith Portwas Wood supported the decisions by commenting that religious people who feel elements of their job go against their conscience can always find employment that better matches their needs. That is true religious freedom.